and 27. There, I therefore so run not uncertainly. So fight I, so I fight I not the... Okay, basically right here, Paul is saying that... Oh, here you go. The, the top of 26 is kind of like a tongue twister. Okay, so now, 27, it says, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, least that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a casual. What is he saying? He's saying that even though in my life I have to... I have to discipline my body Mommy. to get up at certain times so that I can pray for my issue. My issue, my loved ones. My, see, because the enemy attacks us with false emotions. Fear, doubt, paranoia. When you get those negative reports, it makes your heart beat real fast. And it, it, it causes you to think about death. It causes you to think about so many things because the enemy is constantly hitting you with these things. He's hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. But it's your issue. He's hitting you at your issue because he knows what your issue is. And, and God's kind of saying, get up, get up, pray, get up, get up, pray. So then you, 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 I got to sleep, but no, no, get up, get up, get up, pray. So because there are different realms and dimensions of time that we're in as we speak. At 3 o'clock is the bewitchment hour. At certain other days, I think it's 3 to 6. I think it's 3 to 6. 6 to 9. And so on. And I think it's broken up into 3 or 4. Uh, four. And... While we're sleeping, satanic forces are, are, are moving. You notice that at certain times, certain um, uh, nightmares are more induced than others. And you look, and, and I bet none of you ever thought to look at the time when you woke up and said, wow, that, screen, that dream really scared me. I bet nobody really looked at the time. One day, I got the revelation. I said, I knew it was 3 o'clock when I woke up one day. What am I saying? What are you saying, preach? I'm saying that as we begin to pray, as we begin to study, research, allow the word to mentor us, allow the word to, 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 to train us, allow the word to teach us how to speak. And the word, as you begin to learn how to, uh, how to speak, then you begin to learn how to think because then we, it's rare that we speak uh, stuff we don't believe or stuff we don't think. So as we begin to speak the word of God, as we begin to, to, to allow the God, word, word of God to flow, and as we begin to get into God's presence, we begin to pray, as we begin to worship, as we begin to allow God to move, God begin to show us the answer for our issue. All right. All right. See, she realized that Jesus, the word of God, the Lamb of God, the revelation, that he was the answer to her breakthrough, to breaking the curse from all her issue. So as she began to go, she was speaking the word. Think about it. If I can just touch the hem of his garment. Right. But in John it says that, she, that uh, in the beginning was the word. And the word was made flesh. And the word dwelt among us. So the word was Jesus. So as the word began, as she said, if I can just touch him, who is him? The word of God. If I can just touch the word of God. If I can just how the word of God move inside of me. The power of the word of God can change, transform and change my issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want your issue to go away. All right. All, right. All, right. All you have to do is speak the word of God to your issue. All right. All right. No matter how much it looks, I mean, as long as you constantly speaking to your issue, you got to think about it. It wasn't easy for her to touch the word. All right. She had to go through a crowd. That's right. It wasn't okay. easy for her to touch the word because right. she had to go see different physicians and and, 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 and and witch doctors and all these other people. She had to go see all these things, different things because they said she heard. All right. The word was in town. Yes, All right. Right. Yes, the did. word was coming soon. That's the word right. was here. Mm -hmm. And if I could just get a word. All right. See, but what happened? Jesus said, ooh, somebody touched me. All right. And then one of the disciples said, look, you got all these people around you. It could be anybody. No, no. Somebody touched me. I felt the power leave me. All right. He said, it's like, oh, come on now. It's just a bunch. See, they could have stole her breakthrough. They could have they could have gotten in the way of her issue being solved. But Jesus, Jesus, the word, the revelation, the true knowledge of God, the the, the, the Lamb of God, the, 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 the our deliverer, our, our righteousness, our our, 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 our our healer, our deliverer. He wouldn't stop. He said, No. I felt power leave. I felt somebody's issue leave him. 
Oh, and then they turned around and they asked her that. And she's like, yeah, I did. You see, because she still could have risked a chance of dying. <coughs> mm -hmm. But she said, yeah, I, I, I touched you. Funny, he said, dear. and then he told her her sins are like being healed. Her. I mean, what he said, your sins are being forgiven. Go. Like That's what he always healed. tells everybody every time he heals. Your sins be healed. When he yeah. called Lazarus, when the word of God called Lazarus yeah. out of the tomb, yeah. out of the grave. He's been dead for four, well, I think it meant four more days. He was dead for that length of time so that God could get glorified. Why? Because the simple fact that if you're dead for a certain length of time, you're considered dead. There's impossible for you to come back because the spirit leaves the body at a certain amount of days. So as the spirit leaves the body, Jesus said, you know what, I'm glad I wasn't around when he died. Can you imagine somebody saying that? You know, you had some, you, 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 you're going to visit your loved one and, he, and somebody busts out and say, I'm glad I wasn't here when he died. <laughs> you know, like, you're like, what the? <laughs> you know, that's fine word. He said, I, I'm glad I wasn't there for the simple that's fact right. that my father would be glorified. All right. Roll away. He said, Lazarus. He called Lazarus. And Lazarus came out. All bound, wrapped in everything with the bomb. I mean, all the things that they do to your body when you're dead. And they unwrapped him and everything, and he came out. And he was even amongst the people for a while. You see, but with Jesus, nobody called him out. When he, when, he, when, when he went to the cross, and he lied there three days and three nights, when he took care of what he had to do in that three-day, three-night process, nobody called Jesus from back. But it was his destiny to come back for you and I. It was his destiny. All right. To sacrifice his life. Yeah. All right. right. That's right. It was his destiny. That's right. So that we can be able to call upon the name of God. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Yes, So that we can That's be able to right. be able to speak to the necessary thing. Because God, That's Jesus came right. on the earth to show us how to live, and then he, through his disciples, he began to show us how to live. And that even by mm -hmm. as we began to realize and say, you know what, I'm stopped from this day forward. I will not be conformed to the world system. I am being transformed. That word transform means metamorphosis, meaning that I have been changed mentally, physically, and spiritually from what I look like now, and I have embraced my father, my true father. Mm -hmm. right. the, word, the word states, I believe it was Paul said, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All the things are passed away before all things have become new. This word also states that, that we mark for the prize of the high calling, for getting those things that are behind because I have to embrace what is in, what, what's, what's in front of me. All right. God has called us to another level. He's called us to another realm. Whatever your issue is, whatever you're going through, it's in your mouth. It's in your heart. All God is asking you to do is to study. All right. And to study the words that you read. All right. As you begin to study, God's word will begin to heal your issue. Well, no matter what your situation is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how stressful, how unbelievable that you can imagine, you've got to remember, if I can just see it in God's eyes, All right. then my healing is already there. Right. If I can see it in God's eyes, then my relative that's looking at doing life in prison it will be out soon. All right. Because if God's no respect of a person, if we've been in church, I'm, and many of you have been in there longer than I have, heard stories of how people went to jail and All God right. delivered them from a life sentence. That's They've right. been in jail for false accusing of this, and That's God right. delivered them, protected them while they were all in jail all the time. Right. Somebody said that they had a stroke, and God delivered them, and now they got all access right. to all their land. How right. many know when you have a stroke, you don't come back to it? transformed so long to the world system to the point that we have forgot who our father is. That's right. We have forgot who we That's are. Right. We're Amen. created in God's That's name. Right. We're created in his likeness. That's right. If we're created in God's right. image and God's likeness, uh -huh. then we can speak to any given issue. We can speak to the demonic force. We can speak to the demonic force and it's not to flee. You look at it and you read and you begin to study the word. You begin to research the word. You begin to allow the word to speak to you. To see what happened, how how fearful and how 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 how, how the demons trembled at the name of certain All people right. because of the simple fact they walked with Jesus. But then, check this out: they didn't just walk with Jesus; they had an encounter with Jesus. Right. When they had an encounter with Jesus, it changed their whole life to the point that when they walked, they shadow healed people. When they their clothing healed people because what happened? They weren't just readers of the word; they were students of the word. Right. And as they became students of the word, they allowed the word to move richly in their lives. 
Right. I don't know what your issue is today.